Hey guys, so really quickly before we jump into anything, I just want to take a moment to um, make a, a statement about like some conscious awareness um, just about the world around us because that's something that's very important to Nikki and I to really look at like the issues that are going on in the world and the community and to do our part to hopefully try and at least raise awareness and maybe potentially raise some, um, some funds for it as well. So I'm sure as many of you know, um, Australia is suffering with just devastating wildfires, like unimaginable wildfires. And um, a lot of their wildlife is dying because of it. Um, obviously the the citizens and the people who live there, they're also suffering, but the wildlife itself is, um, it's very rich in Australia and we are losing rapidly a lot of um, very uh, important species to us. Um, koala bears may be on the uh, the endangered species list after this. So that being said, there's a lot of people out there who are risking their lives and their safety and um, they're taking incredible steps and um, attempts to to control these fires, to contain those fires and to make them um, manageable is because right now they're not. So that being said, uh, Nikki has done a lot of research and he's found an organization that directly donates to the firefighters and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to them to help them fight the fires and to help them save whatever wildlife they can and preserve the um, the environment there as much as they can. If you would like to donate, do not feel pressured to at all. It's just something that we wanted to give you guys the option to since he has done the research and found an organization that is going to be giving the proceeds to the right place. Because I know with charities, sometimes you may donate and you're not really, you're not really sure where your money is going. So if you want to to donate then we really appreciate it it is um, going to be linked into the bottom of the channel and uh, yeah other than that stay tuned for content hey guys welcome back to dark angel beauty thank you so much for tuning in today if you have never been with us before we are dark angel beauty we are a makeup channel we do a lot of makeup based things pretty much solely makeup based things with a couple other things sprinkled in there. And I'm Andy, I'm the host of the page. Um, so today we're actually doing something that just shows exactly what a mess my life is. It is currently January 15th as we are filming this. God knows when it's gonna get posted, but uh, this is a Christmas haul. So these are all presents that I received on Christmas. And I have, uh, I have not hauled them yet because I'm a mess of a person. So just depending on how far removed we are from uh, Christmas when this actually posts is gonna just show how messy my life is. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. That uh, we're fun here, even though I'm a mess. So just keep it in mind that we're, you know, chug along, so yeah. But uh, I did receive some really cool makeup based products for Christmas. I received a lot of really cool stuff that I could have hauled fashion stuff, things like that. But I really wanted to just do these. I didn't want to make it like weird with like, hey, look, this is what I got for Christmas. So yeah, but all of these are great makeup products. I'm very excited to play around with all of them. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys what I received. So that being said, we're just gonna jump right into it. It shouldn't be a super long haul, but because it's not super long, there's not a lot of stuff that I get to talk about it. a lot of, uh, I got to talk about a lot with each product, so yes. First thing we're gonna jump into, I actually knew about this one. This is not technically a present. This was something that we ordered for the channel. However, it was wrapped and gifted to me from Nikki uh, for Christmas because um, he did buy it. So yeah, so this is the Jeffree Star box. And if y'all didn't watch that video about the nightmare that we went through with that, I highly recommend watching that. Just to give you guys a little recap, basically on Black Friday, we, um, not Black Friday, it was Thursday, it was, Chris, it was uh, Thanksgiving day. We sat down, we were fully prepared to put in multiple orders. We did the first order, which we, I got a confirmation from, we never received any of those and the payment was never taken out. It was the big box, the little box and the medium sized box. So all three of the mystery boxes they offered, we never received those even though I had a confirmation and they told us when we reached out to customer service that meant we had ordered it. So um, so they lied there. Uh, and I'm just gonna be 100% honest. I, that's how I feel about it. They totally lied to us right there. So that's, in my opinion, very crappy as a company. Then we put in a second order where we ordered these palettes that I received here and the large and the small box, I believe, maybe, or the large and the medium box. I don't remember, or the medium and the small box. I don't remember, we ordered we other, We ordered more boxes. That, for whatever reason, we never got a confirmation for, even though we went through the entire checkup process. And then they emailed us about an hour later saying that we still had stuff in the cart, which were the palettes, the boxes already, had sold out at that time. So obviously we could not pick those up anymore. So we did go back and we ordered the palettes. 
the pallets we got a confirmation email about and the charge was removed for those and then we waited a full month to receive them. The only thing we ever received was the pallets. We were never charged for anything else. So, I mean, we really can't complain that much, but I just think it's really terrible to send confirmations when you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't, you, you ain't really sending us anything. You didn't take any money out, whatever. And then when we reached out to customer service, they were virtually no help. So I was very, very disappointed with my whole first experience with Jeffree Star Cosmetics and purchasing from them. I've heard nothing but great stuff about it. Besides the issues they've had with ordering and everything, I'm not trying to badmouth him. I'm not trying to badmouth the company. I'm just saying that this as a whole was very discouraging. I probably will not be quick to order from the company again because I just felt like the whole situation was handled poorly. That being said, rant over. We are going to dive into the palettes, which are actually quite gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie about that. I am very excited to test them out because I have heard nothing but amazing stuff about the company other than the fact that they apparently can't figure out when to send confirmation emails and when people actually order stuff and any of that. So no tea, no shade. Anyway, so um, I believe they were doing 50% off. I think it was like, if it wasn't 50, it was like 40% off. It was a lot off the palettes. I don't remember. It's been a really long time. I'm sorry guys. But I picked up a set. So the Jawbreaker and the Mini Jawbreaker set. Um, and then we picked up the Blood Sugar palette. And I believe all things said and done, it was like $96 after tax and everything. So first thing I do have to point out is the packaging on them are gorgeous. I know these aren't new palettes. So if you already own them, if you've already seen hauls from them, I'm sorry, but it's new for me. So I'm going to haul it. Just deal with it. The palette itself is absolutely lovely. Just so many really, really large shades to work with. Different colors, different glitter shades, different matte shades, just a lot you can do with this lovely palette. And I'm not gonna lie, when I actually started looking at, cause we just kind of were trying to order as fast as we could because we knew things were selling out. So I didn't really look at like what the mini breaker shade uh, palette was. And the more I started thinking about it and more I started think, seeing things about it, I was like, well, I hope that they're not all duplicate shades just in a smaller package. That being said, I think there's only like one duplicate shade and then there's like some that are kind of similar, but they're all very different. So this is the mini breaker. I think the set total was like um, maybe 50, $50 ish or whatever after the discount. So not a bad deal for the little bundle set. The one that I truly wanted to pick up was the blood sugar palette. I have seen so much about this. I love it. I kind of am kicking myself for not also having picked up whichever, I think it's like the ice palette or something like that, whichever the blue one is. I'm just not a big blue toned person. So that's why I was like, I don't really need it right now. But I love reds. I love pinks, as you can tell from my eyes. Those are the colors I kind of gravitate towards when I'm doing makeup. So I really wanted to get my hands on this palette. Of course, the packaging on it is so cool. And then when you open it up, it's just absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. So many really, really cool shades to work with. It's right up my color scheme. I just really, really like it. So even though we had a, a headache and a half trying to, to, uh, to obtain these little palettes here, I really actually genuinely like them and I'm glad that we picked them up. Yeah, so yeah. So that was the whole Jeffree Star tea, all of that good stuff thrown in there. So that is done for that haul. Both the other things that I received, I did not know I was receiving and I'm very excited that I have them because I really, really wanted both of these things. So the first one is my parents' best friends who I grew up with. We've, they've known them for like 30 years. They're basically like my second family. They got me the Lancome gift set for Christmas. And if you guys have seen some of our past videos, you know that I actually purchased for myself the Estee Lauder gift set and I wasn't super thrilled with it. So I'm so excited, even though it's way past due and we should have done it like right after Christmas was over. Sorry, didn't happen. I am very excited to do a tutorial with the Lancome gift set so that way I can tell you guys how I feel about that. If it's worth more than the Estee Lauder set, if it's worth less, if one is better than the other, if one is worth buying, if neither one is worth buying. But I do absolutely love the little case that it comes with. The case is so cute. Got like two really great storage areas and a nice little handle. So this is what the top compartment looks like. Big storage area there. Um, it would make like a nice, I've had it just kind of sitting in my uh, makeup area so it can like sit on top of it and uh, just kind of hang out there. And then inside I, the bottom part, which is the bigger part, I've got all the makeup that it came with. The big thing with the Lancome versus the Estee Lauder one is the Lancome, I believe, comes with less items. However, that being said, 
I feel like the quality of the items that I've received in the Lancome one may be actually a little bit better than the SA Ladder one, especially the eyeshadow palette. So we'll just kind of give a quick rundown of what came in the Lancome one, because I'm sure we'll do a more in-depth version of the, um, with the tutorial, we'll do a more in-depth version of looking inside the, the kit itself. But so this is um, a makeup remover. I actually like Lancome's a lot. Um, then we've got this Lancome Advanced Genifique. Uh, it is a, I believe it's a firming cream, but it's all in like French. So I, I can't read French, sorry. Then we also have the um, Youth Activating Concentrate, which I've actually used this before. I received a Lancome gift actually from the same family like a few years back and I used the serum and it's the same serum and I love that. So I'm very excited to get another full size bottle of it. So that is actually very, very nice, especially in retail value. I think they sell those things for like $100. So that's a good asset in it as well. Now the next thing is you have the Lancome Boosting Mascara, which is just a, a plain like clear white mascara to give you length to your eyelashes. And then you also have the Lancome Black Mascara to go in there and then give it color. I personally am very excited for this because I believe if I remember correctly, these show up white. And if they show up white, that means that like when I do cool things like the Renaissance Festival, when I wanted to do white eye mascara, then it would make it a lot easier to do that. So I am very excited about that. And no matter what, um, I like the mascara and I like the lengthening serum, so yeah. Um, it does come with a nice little like tapered brush. I didn't unwrap it because I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna keep it. I may give it to somebody else, but uh, I might keep it. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Uh, it comes with a very nice long sized black eyeliner. That's what it looks like, just a normal pencil um, to give you guys an idea of what it look, kind of goes on like. It is kind of like a charcoal color, almost like a light black, probably because it's not a liquid base, it is the, the pencil based, so that makes it a little bit different. Um, but it's still huge. Like this is one of those mascaras that it's never gonna dry up because it's not liquid based and it's giant. So you can just keep sharpening it until it's gone. It comes with three lipsticks and then it comes with a palette. So the lipsticks are covered in dog fur, just absolutely. I haven't even opened it since Christmas just because I've been waiting to do this haul and um, it's just covered in dog fur from when I unwrapped it on Christmas, so. Um, but you get a nice vibrant red color, which is perfect for the Christmas season. You get a nice kind of uh, like burnt orange brown shade. And then you get a very nice neutral like blush pink shade. And that blush pink shade is very similar to the one I'm wearing on my lips. So the whole collection looks like this. If you can, can you see it? Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, so you get literally something for every occasion in my opinion, which I think is very, very nice in terms of like a gift set like this, cause you really can give it to somebody with the intention like, they're not somebody like me who spends thousands of dollars on makeup a year or a month, then it probably would be a good set for them to use for a very long while. It has almost everything besides like foundation and maybe contour stuff that they would need. The last thing that came in this eye, this, um, this little bundle set is the eyeshadow palette. I love the case on it. It's black and glittery. It is so precious. And then you open it up and it's just got a lot of really great neutral shades and two really pretty blush shades, one of which is matte and one of which is shimmer. The packaging on this alone, I can tell you feels like 10 times more quality than what we received with the Estee Lauder one. The Estee Lauder one was very plastic feeling, very, but cheap feeling. It just was very flimsy. It, so, it seemed like they were doing like a lot because they give you two eyeshadow palettes in that one. They give you a lot of shades, but they were very like small and not durable. And I honestly, like I didn't hate the look that I created with it, but it just wasn't as great as I had hoped for. So that being said, I have really high hopes that the Lancome may be actually a little bit better in terms of um, what we received with this particular gift. And I promise you guys, I'm sorry we've been so slacking on filming and posting lately, but we're going to get much better with it. We've just been dealing with some crazy stuff right now. And I promise we will get a review of this full set out soon and we'll be able to tell you which one we think was better. So that may, that means like maybe next year you'll be able to figure out which one is more worth buying than the other one, so. And the final thing that we have to talk about is probably what I'm most excited to talk about. I have to preface this because there are not a lot of celebrities out there that I truly love, like truly with my whole heart, love, support. They cannot do anything wrong. I will follow them to the end of the earth. 
And one of the big ones is Lady Gaga. I freaking love her. I think she is so incredibly talented. I think she's so genuine. I think she's just amazing. And there's not a lot of people I'd leave Nikki for, but she's one of them. She's one of the top of the list. So when she announced that she was making her own makeup line, my mother was like, you have to get this makeup. And I was like, I know I do. I know I do. I know I do. But I, it was not that I didn't want to support her. It's not that I like, I just literally kept forgetting. And then I'd be like, oh my God, I need to buy it. But then I also had like, $700 and like other makeup charges on my credit card. So I was like, let's not do that right now. Let's not do that right now. So she was like, I'm gonna take it into my own hands. And she ordered me some Haas Laboratories by Lady Gaga makeup. So this is what I received from them. I'm so excited to test them out. She got me this one bundle set, which comes with the cutest little makeup bag. Absolutely love everything about it. Just, I'm so friggin' excited. Everything I've seen about it. So these bundles, basically it comes with, it comes with a lip gloss, it comes with a lip liner, and it comes with an eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. Which y'all know I love. I love me some liquid eyeshadows, man. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It is a Ciate London liquid eyeshadow and it is fabulous, so. So this is, I don't remember which set she got. She told me, but I don't remember and I apologize for that. But this is the Glam Attack. It's like a black shade and it literally, I swatched it and then it stayed on my arm for the rest of the night. So just to give you guys an idea, this is what Glam Attack looks like. It will dry down and when it dries down, it will literally be there for the next eternity. I literally was, I did it on Christmas Eve because that's when we opened presents. I walked around with it on my hand all day Christmas. I'd wash my hands multiple times. It was still there. So this is like, very durable, very nice. I cannot wait to do a tutorial with it. I'm so freaking excited for it. I just cannot wait to share you guys, like with, with you guys how amazing it is. Cause I think it's gonna be really great. I know I've heard mixed reviews about stuff like that. I don't really care. Lady Gaga can do no wrong in my opinion. Um, then I got it for the lip shade. It is a very neutral, nice lip liner. So this is what the lip liner itself looks like very like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very, very light, but it is a very nice neutral shade. And that is for me, I like bold eyes and neutral lips, which is I'm sure why my mom chose to get me this particular set because she knows me very well. So she was like, that's probably what she's gonna want. Wish it was, so go mom. And then um, the lip gloss itself is very, um, It, it matches the lip liner very well. In fact, I'm gonna put it right over the lip liner so you guys get a feel for it. But it is a nice kind of peachy color and that is really what I gravitate towards. Love that. Just love everything about that. Just fabulous. And then she also found, cause you guys know that I love my palettes. Like I just love palettes. I can't help it. Can't help it. I just wish I could, but I can't control it. Doesn't even matter. Cause I have 10,000 of them and I could have 10,000 more and still want more, so it's fine. But I love palettes and she did get me the Glam Room number one eyeshadow palette. And that is this little man right here. And he comes with just a really nice array of very neutral workable shades. There's a good variety of mattes, good variety of shimmers. I'm a big, big fan of, um, I believe it is, I'm thinking it's Cameo. It's the purple one right here. And then um, we've also got, I like a uh, top hat a lot, which is this light one right here. There's just a lot of really workable shades in this whole thing. So I am very, very excited to do a tutorial for this one as well. This has been one of the hauls that I've been really wanting to get done. Cause there's basically, we have at least like four different eye looks that I could do using all the different stuff that we have. And um, I really want to be able to show you guys that. So yeah, I'm excited that it's finally been done and hauled and I can put it away in my makeup collection and then show you guys what it looks like. So that being said, that is all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took us so long to film it. I apologize, life is crazy sometimes. That's all I can say. So uh, yeah, other than that, I uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps the page. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We are really trying to grow and we really want you guys to grow with us. So the more followers we have, the easier that's gonna be. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.